Top Fuel here at Rocket City Dragway. The old Huntsville drag strip is alive once again, and this event certainly means a lot to the new dubbed Rocket City Dragway as they begin to rejuvenate this facility and have a drag strip that brings in stellar shows, including for the first time since the early 2000s nitro methane with extreme top fuel in the house. These front engine dragsters have been lighting up Rocket City Dragway. You're going to see the action right here on Monday Morning Racer, brought to you by Dove Fuels. We're here in the staging lanes at Rocket City Dragway. The bracket racing program is underway. Joey Haas, number one qualifier, is about to make a single pass to see if he can post a quicker ET than his opponent in round one. There was a strange occurrence for the Tri-State Racing Chevrolet Nitro-powered front engine dragster that Joey Haas is driving this weekend at Rocket City Dragway in that the Christmas tree did not illuminate on his side after the staging process. His opponent did go on down the drag strip posting an elapsed time. The series has opted because of his opponent not being able to make the turnaround quick enough that Joey is going to go out there, attempt a quicker ET, and if he does go quicker than his opponent did in round one, he would advance to the second round. Extreme Top Fuel is made up of a lot of blue-collar workers, and the series, in conjunction with the teams, agreed to this scenario to see who truly gets the win light.
my favorite race team now till today. <laughs> the track director just got done warming up a fuel altered. David Sharp, how was it? Man, I'm going to tell you something. That is intense right there. I'm a big fan of nitro fuel, nitro fuel altered, the nostalgia drag racing scene. You know, before I took this uh, track here, being the track director of Rocket City Drag Race, you know, by the way, it's right here in Harvest, Alabama, 502 Quarter Mountain Road. Y'all got to come check us out. But uh, I'm just telling you, that is insane. The amount of power that that motor is feeling in the seat and your chest. And, uh, you know, when I do things like this here at the dragway, I can't do it by myself. And I've got case tractors and international harvesters come on board here along with AgriFab. And I'm telling you, when they see this video and this thing, they are going to be just swinging from the fence here. I mean, this thing is just so cool. And, you know, the thing about drag racing is different from any other sport that you go to. I mean, you're part of the actual team, right? You get to come in the pits. You get to see the sights, the sounds, the smell. And that is the reason I am I have taken over this track. And, you know, again, I tell people we got to be patient. But when I tell people I want to be the P.T. Barnum, that bought Chick-fil-A. I want that atmosphere here. You don't look no further than this thing right here. I mean, this was shock and awe. I love it. This event, Extreme Top Fuel in the house with Nostalgia Pro Stock, a fuel altered on the premises. It means a lot to this community that loves drag racing that this track had been down for a while and you're bringing it back. Yeah, so you know, when you talk about bringing something back, this track has rich history. In fact, the landowner here uh, is here with me today. Uh, this track goes back to 1961. People forget about Huntsville, Alabama being one of the premier tracks in the country, all concrete surface, the first ever uh, all eighth mile national event, the first person to pay 106000 in top fuel, the first person to have the million dollar race. Those things happen right here on this hollow ground. And to have, uh, when, when I was told that there was an option to get an altered uh, nitro fuel altar here, I mean, I was just giddy. I wasn't going to tell them, but I usually travel a couple of times a year up to California for the March meet and hot rod reunion, and we even closed the track down here to go to the hot rod reunion in Bowling Green. So I am just super fans of this type of racing and you know what they're doing to keep this sport going. And for our fans up here, they haven't seen this type of action from probably the 60s or 70s, and I think you've probably seen a great response from just what we're doing here today. Fly right in your motorsports endeavors with products and services from Dove Fuels. Pete Dove is the owner of Dove Fuels. He is a racer himself in a nitro methane burning fuel altered dubbed back from the ashes. He races with driven racing oils, which produces a 70 weight nitro oil. But that is not all they make. They make applications for you on the oval track, whether that's dirt or asphalt, and for even you, the bracket racer on the drag strip. And if you need nitro methane, Pete Dove at Dove Fuels is the one to call for a drum or even supplying for an entire series as he is the official supplier of nitro for nitro chaos. If it's nitro methane or driven racing oils, you need to contact Dove Fuels. Gentle name, hardcore products.
the Hemi-powered machine of Michael Anderson. First into the fives this year at the March meet. You go to Nitro Chaos, you have a challenging event. You come to Rocket City Dragway, you might get your first win of the year. Bit up and down, man. Yeah, it's a, well, I mean, I feel like that's, you know, front motor top fuel racing, man. It's an up and down deal. It's a lot of tough guys to race out here. And, uh, you know, I'm still kind of the new guy, so I um, feel pretty good that where we're at and, you know, kind of kind of where this car is at. This is probably one of our best outings that we've had. Now, Michael, you've got the Hemi. Joey's got the Chevy. You can't come out of here without winning. Well, I don't, that, that old dump truck motor over there, it's a pretty stout, stout motor. They, uh, Steve McClain in that group and Joey driving, that, that, that's a good car. But uh, I think we got something for him right here with this old Hemi right here. Joey Haas has had an interesting round of eliminations here at Rocket City Dragway, but he's got an opportunity to put the Chevrolet on Nitro over the Hemi on Nitro. We're going to just try to run an 80 against uh, Michael Anderson, which he's got a good running car. Jim Young tunes it. Jim Young tunes this one. So we're just going to set them up identical and may the best man win. But let's uh, root for the Chevy. See me for three years. Hey. <laughs> hey. Going out a winner, baby. <laughs> Hold up your number one. Drag racing is alive and well north of Huntsville, Alabama at Rocket City Dragway. Extreme Top Fuel has wrapped up here your winner, Michael Anderson. Michael, we talked about highs and lows, and this is certainly a high of highs. Yes, sir, man. You know, to get out here with all these guys and uh, actually make this happen after, you know, thousands of hours and I don't even know how many, you know, tens of thousands of dollars to try to do this. And, uh, you know, to, to have a dream 10 years ago to be able to do this is uh, pretty amazing to race with these guys, man. It's extreme top fuel groups, tough, you know, all these guys out here have been doing it a long time. You know, we're kind of still the new kids on the block. And uh, it's been, it's been, you know, exceptional, man. I can't thank my crew enough because uh, all I'm doing is pushing the pedal, right, and buying some parts. But uh, it's, it's been a hell of a good time. Michael Anderson, your winner here in Extreme Top Fuel at Rocket City Dragway, brought to you by Dove Fuels on the Monday Morning Racer YouTube channel.